For decades, the world has been recycling the same ideas, tools, and systems to solve challenges that change with time. If the challenges of the future are different from the ones we are facing now, aren't we supposed to be prepared for such future? And this preparation starts from now, and not when it's almost impossible to relate. It is easier to build a strong child than to repair a broken man. We can all admit that our world is facing more challenges, psychological, moral, educational, and emotional, to name a few. In fact, most of the problems we currently face can never be solved using chemistry, mathematics, or French. Don't get me wrong, it's good to learn all of this, but how do we handle bullying, inferiority complex, and depression? I mean, we all want to become what is celebrated nowadays, and not what's in us. My uncle once told me that my future ambition will keep on changing until I realize who I was. I've chosen fulfillment by settling for what's in me. It was once said that if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. In my school, it's all different. I don't look forward to the weekends. I enjoy my Mondays to Fridays. I mean, learning is very relatable to life. So, welcome to Breeding Arena, where we nurture what is with you. Breeding Arena College is a middle and high school system that aims at bringing out, nurturing, and establishing talents and abilities in every child. To our well equipped and conducive environment, we aim to raise relevant and excellent next generation. We currently run a British and Nigerian curriculum that prepares us for the world beyond our locality. Our school is structured to encourage extracurricular and out of the box learning activities such as sports, music, sound engineering, drama, animation, and public speaking that will build effective functionality. Breeding Arena is built to be a home and a safe space for every child to believe, hope for, and have an excellent future. More than imaginations, we are instilled with doctrinal values that endure throughout our lives. It is easier to build a strong child than to repair a broken man. What do you think, Mira? You see, the word repair is a strong word, you know. I mean, one could be fixed, but things can't be returned to its original state. I prefer to be built, that's why I'm learning the application of technology to our society. The art of decision making in chess and art and technique of swimming. Sometimes, most of us refer to these activities as recreation and fun or relaxation, but it goes beyond that. According to Google, recreation is the act of making something for the second time or refreshment of the mind, body or spirit through play. And we all know that the world is in their need of creative minds and more importantly, a kind that offers solution to the unending problems of man and his existence. One major skill of problem solvers is their learning abilities. Let's go back to the Stone Age, when man made weapons and tools from stone and organic materials. From generations to generations, the boomers to the Gen Z, computers also have an issue. The earliest computers running on transistors to vacuum tubes to integrated circuits to microprocessors and now we are experiencing the world of artificial intelligence. Computers are really learning to perform tasks such as facial recognition, self-driven cars big on GPS, social media monitoring, proactive healthcare management, virtual assistants, shout out to Siri, Alexa and the likes. By frequency of usage, computer is widely preferred to as assistance to man than man itself. Technology is not just theoretical knowledge. It is using this knowledge to better our lives. For example, an average generator produces more than 70 decibels of sound. Constant exposure to such unpleasant noise can cause the destruction of the eardrum which will eventually lead to partial deafness. Technology has affected almost everything, and social media, that's currently a new channel, update channels, and has even brought the world closer.
And since we all live in a society with different environmental factors, with accessibility to the internet, life has become much easier to interact globally, to exchange cultural and moral backgrounds, as well as become aware of ethical values which defines the social and economic trend in our ever-changing world. There still needs to cater for mental, psychological and emotional needs as they influence our lives. If not paid attention to, they affect the quality of our lives in general. Most of these needs cannot be attended to in isolation. The best way to hasten this is through finding an actual sense of community. Now, it's important to note that it's not just an entity or a group of people. It's a feeling connecting to others, being accepted, wanted, loved, and supported, which in turn affects the psyche positively. Being aware of what's important to you can help you find ways to connect with other like-minded people. We're social beings and we're not meant to live in isolation. Daily, we come in contact with various living and non-living things. Our ignorance of their composition, relevance, and even function doesn't deny their impact on the ecosystem. Science teaches us how to properly interface with these elements. It helps to create an awareness of the classes of matter, living or non-living things, and the state of matter, which are solid, liquid, and gas. Even if we know little or nothing about our environment, we cannot overlook the need to learn about the body because it contains all the state of matter, which is important to learn about. We learn about the parts, their functions, and how to adequately take care of the different systems in the human body. This system work hand in hand with each other in performing various tasks in the body. Any slight malfunction can be detrimental to the efficiency of the entire body. The adolescent stage of a child's growth is pivotal as they tend to undergo certain changes that, if not properly managed, can negatively affect the child's psyche and total development. Hey guys, have you watered your plan? As much as science is the bedrock to learning facts through observation and experience, Agriculture, on the other hand, provides us with daily food. And I'm super excited that I'll have some to spare and rather be a victim of a lazy man without food. Through the act of tilling the soil, humans have developed a close relationship with the land, as it is a major factor in the production of resources for food, clothing, and shelter. However, despite the fundamental dependence of humans on the earth's fertility, People throughout history have transformed and degraded the natural landscape of their land. Continuous degradation would threaten the Earth's ability to sustain the world's increasing human population. And as you know, food is life, medicine, and health. So, if we don't grow our own food, we lose the sense of relationship with the land. To avoid this degrading factor, our Earth needs stealing, cultivation, and nurturing. Only then can we see ourselves as a different people in the mirror. So, if you can grow a garden, what can't you do? Doing takes a lot of energy and physical fitness to perform activities that are important to us. Especially when we have to participate in games that require physical agility. Games and sport precisely help an individual much more than developing physical strength. It helps build character, teaches and develops strategic thinking, analytical thinking, leadership skills, risk taking, just to name a few.